Hello everyone, hope you're all having a wonderful day, Sim 2 here, and today guys I'm going to be starting a new Wonderland series. Now I didn't want to just do any old series, this will be a challenge run, but I wanted to make it so intense, so painful, it'd probably make the Pope cry. Hey, I think you'd even rather walk in on your parents having sex than trying to attempt this challenge. Now of course the challenge run I am talking about is snipers only. Now all jokes aside, this probably isn't the most intense challenge you could probably do. A one life run would probably be the most insane thing you could probably try and do on Wonderland. But I thought the next thing would have to be trying to actually beat the game with a sniper. I mean, it's it's not going to be impossible, but if you guys do not know a little bit of backstory, the snipers are absolutely trash in Wonderland. It's probably the worst tier of weapons, if you were to scale the tiers, the snipers Easy F tier. It, it, it push, if you could push it lower, I would push it lower, but easy friggin' double F tier. The snipers are doo-doo. There's probably like a couple that stand out, but besides that, there's not really that many. So it is going to be a sniper only run, so what are the parameters for this run? Well, I cannot multi-class. I cannot multi-class. And now obviously this is a sniper only run, so I can only use a sniper. I can have as many snipers as I want, but I can only use a sniper. I can use melee, because melee is just as horrendous in this game, especially with a lot of the flying enemies and everything. Now I'm going to put a little stipulation in, I'm not going to use spells unless my sniper has absolutely no ammo and I cannot find ammo. It's just to kind of stop me from getting like soft locked, so I'm not like running around aimlessly looking for bullets that literally aren't there. Um, so I, it's still going to be just as painful trying to just use spell and melee, but I'm hoping we don't come to that. I'm hoping I can just try and use the sniper the whole entire time. A little bit of a bonus challenge. I must finish this run. I must beat the game and I am going to try and attempt to beat at least one raid boss. I must have at least one legendary sniper in my inventory at the end of the game. So I cannot technically finish even if I beat the game, even if I beat the raid boss. If I do not have a legendary sniper, I need to go and farm one and that would be the end of the run. Now I am allowing myself to use action skill, but when you see what class I'm picking, that doesn't, it's not going to make a difference at all. So that is basically it. I think I've explained everything properly. I hope so. Um, I have written everything down so I can kind of stick to my own rules, otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll probably forget. So I've rambled on for long enough guys, let's just jump straight into it. Alrighty guys, it's been a while since uh, we've been on Wonderland, like 6-7 months to actually be exact, so I might be a little bit rusty here. Obviously we are choosing intense difficulty, we, we, we're not mucking around. Cooperation doesn't even friggin matter and I am going to skip the intro cutscene as soon as it lets me Okay, now that we've skipped that now obviously to make this more of a challenge I am going to be using Clawbringer arguably one of the worst classes in the game because we're not multi-classing Yeah, it, it just by itself Clawbringer is outright atrocious Oh, whoa, 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 whoa so I've made an absolute ugly son of a bitch here. This is the character we are going to be rolling with through the whole entire playthrough. Now, picking a twist of fate, I wanted to try and pick like a bad twist of fate, but I'm not sure what is a bad one. Probably anything that lowers strength, I would say, because then it puts me on a back foot and I have to put extra points into strength. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm not really going to be using spells unless I have absolutely no ammo and I feel like I'm going to be soft locked. I can't get any ammo. Um, but otherwise it's just going to be melee and sniper, so I feel like failed monk might be the way to go, because it gets mass massive uh, negative to strength, and intelligent and wisdom are just, I mean status damage is good, but in a spell cooldown we're not really going to be using spells, so I feel like failed monk is going to be like the worst one for this build, so let's see how we go. I mean we do get to put 10 points in, I will round this off so it's just zero, I won't be greedy and try and smash just extra six in there and a, you know, failed, failed monk, twist of fate doesn't even matter anymore, so I will put some in constitution, and, um, do I go achievement or wisdom, let's go some in achievement, so I have more action skill cooldown, stuff, I'll go one more strength, one more, one more, All right now we need a name, we need a name, our boy, I reckon, put a Z there because we're trendy, free hair cuts, that's what we're doing, we're out here sniping and we're giving free haircuts, baby. Alright, there we go, Clawbringer, we're taking Failed Monk, Twister Fae, giving it just so we can have as, mo as much negative to our strength as possible. Uh, critical hit chance does not matter in this game, as we realize. Oh my god, cutscenes I can't skip! 
I'm not gonna lie, but I played through this game six times and I've only just realized that there's a Typhon de Leon poster in the background. Was that always there? Am I absolutely blind? What the shit? And we're here, baby! We're back. Man, it has been a while. It has been a hot minute since we've been on some Wonderland. I mean, usually we're doing build videos. This is kind of like the first time I've done a series. And it's the first time I've done a series on the channel, period, I think, actually. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is a weapon. We're going to get a melee weapon first, which we will be able to use. Um, but we're going to need a sniper. And I'm pretty sure we will not get a sniper from Snoring Valley. I think I did do some testing. Now, the first place we can get a sniper is I'm pretty sure it's the buy vendor before you get to Brighthoof, where you meet um, Paladin Mike. So, I'm not sure, maybe we might get some lucky RNG, but I'm banking on that we will get a sniper when we get to Brighthoof and we have access to the first um, weapon vendor. Now, obviously I have to try and get a legendary sniper uh, before the end of this playthrough to complete the playthrough. So, I can't finish this playthrough until I get a legendary sniper, which I like that because it's going to add some grindy element to it, hopefully, or I might get insanely lucky and get a legendary sniper, like, right off the rip. And that's it. It doesn't matter if it's level 4 or level 40. Um, just a legendary sniper is, like, my bonus achievement uh, for finishing this run. Come on, baby! Give me my pistol! I wonder if there's, like, any secret areas that I might not know about where I could get a sniper earlier. But either way, there's a pistol and we can't use it. It's huge. Ribula. Bam, 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 bam. All right, let's take out all these guys with melee. How exciting. Uh, can you guys jump down here? Make my life a hell of a lot easier. Another melee weapon. I'm pretty convinced you're not going to get a sniper dropped until you get out of uh, Snoring Valley. I could be wrong, I'd like to be wrong, it'd be really awesome if we got a sniper early on, it would just speed up a lot of the intro stuff. Now I have to just run around and melee everything. Alright, let's get a shield. Thank you very much. Oof, oof, yeah. Not the skelly man. We will save the village from the skelly men. Come here you skelly bastards. Ugh, ugh. Can't wait to get that action skill. It will definitely speed up some of the kills instead of just having to melee everything. Boom. I barely hit him. God damn. Still frozen though. Okay, I just want to shoot! Let me shoot! How is there more undead? Don't fall back into that. I need that for when these big boys come. Ow. That wasn't meant to hit me, but... <sighs> Let's get him another barrel. This guy's tanky. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here, sir. Hey ya! Boom! <laughs> Huge! Nice. Oh my god, what? Action skill unlocked. Okay, we're going to SMG. Uh, I didn't realize that our melee weapon has vampire on it. That is actually massive. Let's revive the peasant ass peasant. Let's put my skill point in. Let's get. Well, we can only get this one. Um, Overfire. I feel like Overfire uh, might be the way to go. We don't have a gun right now. Let's just go Over Thunder. We can always respec. Like, I don't have any limit on respecing anything. I cannot multi class. That's the only thing. Um, let's put another one in strength. Try my action skill on the peasant. <clears throat> Didn't really want to blow that barrel up, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers sometimes, you know? Thank you. Extra lightning on the melee is going to help a lot. That was a clean action skill. Let me kill kill you. 
Don't run away, don't make this harder than what it already has to be. Now, for anyone that needs to know, you do always get a Nightshade Cryo from this chest. So, the Nightshade Green is nearly just as good as a purple uh, version of the Nightshade. So, if you guys are still needing a Nightshade or wanting to farm one, this is the best chest to come and get one very easily. More damage, crooked damage, restores action skill. No, nah, we're, we're happy with the Vampire passive on our melee. It's going to be very, very handy uh, early, early game. Not that this game is hard by any means necessary though. It's probably being one of the easiest uh, Borderland titles, I would have to say. Even on Intense, it is still not that much of a challenge. Especially once you've played through so many times. I'll show you how we get into there. Like that. Alright, it's nearly time to fight Ribula. I think we are, I think we're ready. Not the easiest first boss to try and do with just melee on like a fresh account. <laughs> Can you spell? I don't even have a sniper. I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Woo! In we go! Totally not gonna go free, Dragon Lord. Woo! Dump everything I have. Where'd you go? Oh, we're going toe to- Okay, let's actually not try and go toe to toe with him. Oh, for peep's sake. No! Come here, dis decrepit. I know he's a wounded skeleton, thank you. Oh my god. Stay on him, stay on him. Oh, that actually hurt a lot. Just in case we die, keep some ads up. Oh my god, I'm so low. Oh, we're dead. That's actually clutch. I have no ads. Gotta be careful. Why is this fight so intense? Like that knocks him out of his attack. That's really cool. Get out of that. Come on, we're nearly there, baby. Thank you. Let's go. Tough fight. Come on, sniper. No sniper. Spell. Consu consuming cal calamity of scathing. Uh, those are the meteorite spells. So, I mean, we'll come in handy until we actually get a sniper. Um, but not a bad spell to have. Those are the kind of shields I'm going to be looking for. Stuff to give us bullets back, because snipers don't have a lot of ammo, or we, even when you upgrade how much ammo you can actually hold. It's still not a lot. It's still not a lot. I think it's maybe 200 bullets, including what you have in the mag, so not a whole lot to deal with. So if we can get shields that give us... Uh, has, if we can get shields that has a chance to actually absorb the bullets for it, massive. I think that's going to be uh, I think that's going to be one of the players going forward using the snipers having those kind of wards. I'm going to put stuff in overfire. I'm going to start putting points into overfire now that now that we have finished Snoring Valley. I thought it'd be a little bit easier just to give us some bonus melee damage, a uh, bonus lightning damage through melee just to try and get through that area quicker. But now we will go over fire so our gun damage will get bonus fire damage which is going to be massive. Um, let's go strength again. I don't care about anything else but strength. Wisdom, strength, and intelligence have to be the best hero stats in the game. Hello? <clears throat> Prepare for battle. Sit, sit, sit. Thank you. Shotgun, interesting. Another uh, ward spell, don't really need hydras. Alright, we need to go to the, I'm gonna go straight to the first area I know where we can get a sniper from. Which is the Queen's Gate. I couldn't think of the name of this place, Queen's Gate. Alright, here we go. So now we can finally, hopefully, get our sniper. Even if it's not in the vendor machine, I will be resetting. Uh, I'll be save quitting and resetting because we need a sniper. I need a weapon in my hands. I can shoot, goddammit. Alright, moment of truth. Okay. There's a green sniper, the target takes, and they take increased damage from melee when I stick them with crossbow. Could be kind of good, could be kind of good. That's the only one. Oh, there's another one there too. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. How'd that become the item of the day now? Wait, I don't know what just happened to the shop there. I left and went back in, it changed. I didn't want the hell. Is that gonna do it again? That was so weird. The shop must have literally just changed. I don't know what happened there. Cool, because it saved me resetting. I will just take the blue Malarin of the Zephyr. 3% extra damage. Oh, I do have the pin and the strike in here. I don't have enough for it. That would be good. That would be very, very good. I didn't even see that there. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go the blue one. It's going to be burst fire, which might be pretty good. It's got increased the gun damage as well. So, lock it in, baby. We finally got our sniper. All right, first sniper. Oh, my God. It's got a hideous scope. Oh, no, it doesn't. I bet you if you switch it to four burst. Yeah, that's disgusting. We're not going to be using four burst. I'm hoping the two burst is just as good. Now, the one thing I'm excited about is I never really use snipers throughout the whole of Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I think we all know that they are just, just dog shit, man. Ooh, this is like a little sniper. Uh, it's like a little SMG sniper. Yes. Okay. It is... Uh, oh my god, I'm out of bullets. Okay, yep, things are two bursts, but boy does it go through some bullets. I need bullets. This thing chews through ammo. But as I was saying before, definitely haven't used any of the snipers throughout Tiny Things Wonderland. So be... I don't know if there's good blue ones, good purple ones. I, like, the Carouser, or however you say it, was... Probably the only sniper I actually used, and even then I didn't use it that much. I didn't really like sniping in this game. What? Why is it that since Borderlands 2, Borderlands 3 and Wonderlands has had some of the worst sniping? Like, it's just getting worse. Like, Borderlands 3 was, eh, I can remember, like, no, I, um, what am I talking about? I can't remember any snipers in Borderlands 3 that were actually decent. And Wonderlands, I think, follows the same suit. There's some that are really good, and that's it. Out of the whole pool of snipers, there's some. Literally, you can count them on, on your one hand with how many good snipers there are in Wonderland. I'm gonna play it smart here. Bullet, where are you? Oh my god. That didn't blow up, really? Okay, so this sniper's trash and I'm not having fun. Oh my god, this gun is absolutely just... Who made these snipers? This is just woeful. Now we're getting snipers, yes. Alright, we'll take another one. Is this any better? This looks like it has a lot more damage. Alright, let's try this one-shot one. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it is so slow. Big damage though. Does a lot more damage. Oh my god, this is so slow! Stop throwing rocks at me! I'll deal with you in a minute, sir! Am I gonna have enough bullets for this? Is it even bullets here? I might have to dump spell. Hang on, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm trying. I'll try as hard as I can to find bullet. Hammer time! That was good damage. Nice, get rid of that troll. I feel like we need as much damage as we can get right now, so I am just going to drop the open fire in straight away. Oh, I probably should put my hero point as well. Anyone want some roast troll? I got it right here. I'm cooking trolls all day, baby. Apparently skeletons too. Wow. Lucky shot. You would jump back down. Oh my goodness, this sniper is so bad. Just... My bullets can't even destroy the barrels quick enough. That's how weak this sniper is. It can't even destroy the goddamn barrels. The next area is going to be rough. Alright, here we go. This... It always gives me trouble at the start of the game. No matter w what character I play, who I am, this part always gives me trouble. Let's see if it's going to give me trouble today. I'm just going to sit in the corner and just try and 
snipe everybody like the sniper I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be giving, giving everyone free haircuts. Wasted! Oh, I'm stuck. Awesome. Thank you. Doesn't the big guy come out here or something? I want to save the barrel for him when he does. Okay, maybe big guy's not coming out. You stop shooting me! Oh, you and your goddamn scatter shotgun. Whatever this is. Just blow the barrel up! Holy moly! Is it always taking this long or is it just because I'm using a shit sniper? Sniper, give me anything better than what I have. No. No luck. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. God, I keep getting shotguns. Shame I'm not doing a shotgun run right now. Woo! Class feet unlocked. Let's go. Massive. So now we have the wyvern? Yeah, there he is. I mean, it's. I'm going to need it. I'm going to friggin' need it with this run. Holy crap. Wrecked. Alrighty, guys. That is probably where we're going to leave the first part of the series. I don't know how long the first part's going to be. Whether it be a short one depends on how much I want to cut out or how much I want to leave in. So hopefully, you guys do enjoy this challenge run. I'm gonna. I'm having a lot of fun already doing this. I've never used snipers in this game. It's like playing a whole new different game, even though I've played through the friggin' thing like seven times. Appreciate all love and support as always, guys. I will see you guys in the next part. But until then, stay safe, take care of yourself. Peace out.